Uh, hey everyone, uh, in this video uh, we spend our time going through the Mantis uh, Anchor uh, setup and um, unboxing, I guess. Um, and then at the tail end of the video, I'm trying to work or demonstrate my dinghy storage problem and uh, looking for better solutions. Hey everybody, so I um, picked up this uh, new anchor. Uh, it's a Mantis M1 anchor, and um, I was kind of debating the Rockna anchor, and I was looking at the Rockna anchor, and I liked the Rockna anchor, uh, but then I ended up going with the Mantis anchor because of the uh, ability to take it apart and put it back together. So my uh, my current anchor is a CQR style anchor. Um, it's like a it's basically like a plow shape, and it's got a swiveling head on it, so it sets well. But it plows, literally. So uh, what I found is that uh, with the CQR, if I ever get kind of like a, a good, not a good set, or if the boat turns and it sort of pulls it a bit loose, it then can start plowing, which is basically dragging um, uh, the boat. It just doesn't have that same grip. And when you look at it, it's designed like a plow. Plows are made to go through the earth and turn it. Um, so this is more of an inverted style uh, blade and it's very similar to the Rockna but basically the Mantis um, has a lot of popularity among a lot of YouTube channels that I've seen um, so that's pro probably one of the reasons why I went with it uh, you know in terms of getting a spade anchor um, and then the other thing was that uh, this one is dismantable so it basically comes apart and you have uh, nuts and bolts that you basically can bolt it together uh, I probably will leave it together most of the time, but you know, in the chance that I'll be offshore for a while, um, what I may do is I may dismantle it and then stow it low in the boat somewhere uh, so that it acts as a little bit more ballast. Um, weighs 45 pounds, so it's a significant significant amount, and then I can actually separate the pieces too, so I can put them in like little corners and things. So uh, let's see what she looks like here. with uh, very little uh, had uh, no working engine no instruments and uh, you know I gutted it I pulled the engine out um, and then I decided to go electric so I put an electric motor in and uh, had a whole learning curve about that so I learned about batteries and charging systems and wiring and you know house banks um, all the different solar panel and uh, monitoring systems and that's what this channel is about. It's about sharing the knowledge that I learned, uh, documenting my journey as I uh, retrofitted this boat. I'm looking forward to next year. Next year, I'm going to be taking uh, the boat uh, out to uh, uh, out to the coast, into the ocean, and I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, hopefully, you can follow along and join me. with uh, assembly instructions, one card. So it comes with an anchor fluke, shank, roll bar, four shank bolts, two roll bar bolts, six nuts, six locking washers, and some lubricant. So that looks like this is in here. And everything is uh, tied down to the wooden case, shipping case, so it's certainly well put together. And uh, yeah, I see 45 here on the thing, so it's a 45 pound version, uh, 20 kilograms. Mobar. Cool. Great. Hey. 
So you make the ang make sure the roll bar is angled back. So it does not go that way. It goes this way. Well, uh, good news. It's going to fit the bow um, roller extension that I did. Uh, so I'm just going to read this a couple times and make sure that I got the uh, that it's installed properly, and then we're going to get this mounted today. Shouldn't take too long. All right. So it says. Uh, Basically, to put the uh, lube, they give you four packets of lube on here. It says apply liberally onto the threads. I'm assuming so that you can get them off again. But the, uh, this is the fluke and, and the shank, I believe. Maybe I'm going to get it backwards, but I'm pretty sure it's the fluke. So they're saying put these on the bottom first. They go upwards, and the nut and the washer goes on the top. Part of the instructions. Yeah, one packet covered four bolts. I think adequate in my mind. I got too much on my finger. Okay, and then this will go on top. There's a little bit more weight on here, so it's a little bit bigger than the CQR. It's definitely bigger, I think, physically. Project done. Four more to go. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, my uh, cut out snippets of the process to try to get the dinghy and the outboard motor on the boat and as you can see here it's pretty calm uh, waters I can just imagine doing this in rocking seas uh, it's it's too difficult and uh, I'm in and out in and out up and down I put this rigged up the pulley mount to get the motor up out of the water um, and it kind of was hanging sideways I mean it's probably better ways to do this but uh, in the meantime, I just need to figure out a better way. And then uh, the next little bit is actually get the dinghy itself back up on deck, and that's a, another total different process. That is not easy. I had uh, leftover blocks, or like backup. These are, I've used them for hoisting things. So now I'm going to go tackle the dinghy here. Uh, yeah, but at least the motor's off. Let's make a bit of an eyesore. Uh, so this is my first time doing this. And uh, again, not very easy chore. I didn't actually have pulleys on there. So I was pulling up a one-to-one -one ratio weight-wise with the spinnaker line and um, after getting it on the deck I was looking at it and I was like okay this is just not gonna work it's just taking up too much space to edit out the swear words okay 
but we got it up there. It's just, uh, it's just too big. So I was just trying to see if I could put this even upside down, but it only leaves just this narrow one foot to walk around on one side. So I don't know. It's just like if I'm too lazy to deflate it, but I think the only way to get this on here is to deflate it. And my original intention was to put it here um, in the bag. So basically roll it up, put it sideways, and then I bought some um, some loop eye loops. I'm gonna drill and uh, put them in here uh, with the intention of um, putting a cargo net over top. So basically lay the bag here, put it in a cargo net, or I guess I could even latch it to the to the hand uh, handrails. But uh, anyways, we'll figure this out. So I think I'll deflate it and then put it in the bag. And, uh, get my estimation on how much space this is taking up here on deck. That part went better than I thought, although it is very awkward. And it, when you hold it from just the front, it doesn't come out straight. So maybe there's like a motor raising bracket or harness or something. I'll do some research. Maybe I can find something. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. I can fit it on the deck, rolled up. 